know. I think, you know, I think the exciting thing right now is that, and I think we're seeing it with certain groups in particular, that we're not, they're not so much catering as much to the Western market, but they're doing exactly what they're doing and, and, and doing what they do so well and they're finding success in America regardless. So I think that's kind of this exciting turning point we're at is that these groups don't feel the exact need to, you know, always sing in English. So my first KCON, woo, that was, uh, that was quite an experience. So I really didn't know what to expect. I was just going in ready to listen to some good music around people who would also listen to good music, but that was really it. So for those of you who don't know, KCON is the Korean convention, one of two that takes place in America, which is basically just a place where all of us K-pop fans can gather and enjoy, you know, the whole atmosphere of K-pop. Right, KCON, this is my right, first KCON. KCon. New York, so excited. I'm really hyped this about this. your first KCON, man, your first one. I know, I'm really excited about this first KCON right now. So we're gonna see how it goes and just see all the booths. There's like different booths, right? A lot of different booths. Well, well, You'll see it all, man. We're here at KCON, so we have all of the booths over there. Just so you can see them if I was to zoom in. And then we have the Prudential Center. But we have eight hours. We have eight hours to explore all of this right now. So I'm looking forward to it. So first we parked, then I got out of the car, got my camera and everything. And as I'm doing it, I'm just slowly realizing that like I'm at this place where it's kind of okay to be a K-pop fan because I know that you're not really with a group of other people who are like that. It's sort of like something you have that you personally like and you're friends with people on the internet or Twitter or wherever where you can talk about it. But once you get out of the car and you see all the booths, you see like this big screen playing like just some K-pop music, you really get a feeling for everything that's going on and everything around you. This is crazy, we just hit up with our first fan and there's Courtney and Jasmine right there. Where'd you guys get here? Yo, uh, it's Josh Dove! Let's get the selfie in there. Oh shit, hold on. We're about to go check in right now. We have not even signed into KCON yet. We keep, we, we get keep getting distracted. Because now they're playing like really, really. And we just want to dance. I want to leave. I want to stay and dance. We're finally at the check-in after the long, bumpy road of uh, running into awesome people and listening to awesome music. And Josh, how long do you think the check-in process is going to take for us? Well, it's quick. We're going to be here for hours. We'll be fast. Yeah, hopefully we'll be here fast because we got here late where there's no lines right now. But we'll see. So we actually went and got our tickets, but Rob and I forgot to get our convention passes. So we actually have to go back to the check-in booth to actually get the convention passes so we can buy some merch. There they are. Yo. Did you get merch yet? Yeah, dude. I got it. Oh, where'd you where'd you get it from? Here? Right over here. Sick poster. All right. One of the coolest things was is that they did have these interactive booths where you didn't just go up for merch, but it was like interactive dance workshops or other types of workshops where idols would actually come out and you just got to see them and hang out and you know have like a questionnaire almost like you were watching something on YouTube or like some KBS show where they're just answering questions and you're just ogling but there isn't that screen, you're actually there. And let me say, some of the people there who were dancing were pretty darn good. They were all in sync with the music playing and I'm just thinking to myself, how much did they actually have to practice that before even trying to come out or even getting it that good, like on their own without anybody else that they were dancing with? And then they just come out and kind of kill it with what they're doing. So I did meet some of my own fans there and I gotta say, you guys were awesome. Just having an awesome time, taking pictures, just talking. It was really cool to just meet you guys because the only real interaction I've had was between me and like, commenting or just talking or you know sometimes live streams and having the comments go but just meeting in person it kind of puts like this number in mind that you know when a certain video of mine gets views and I see all these likes and comments that those those are people behind it like you guys are there actually and it just it makes it more worthwhile knowing that it's not just me talking into a camera and I'm actually talking a whole you so you had some really crazy good dancers like from 1 million dance studio and east to west who just went up and just killed it to whatever songs and then this whole crowd formed when you hear the music start playing and everybody would just be watching these crazy performances by people who are just super talented and I think 1 million's from South Korea and then east to west is actually from Montreal, Canada, so it was really cool to see them, and then you had other performances up there as well.
This was just me talking about the actual KCON part. But I also have the concert footage here, so I really, really tried to fit it all. It was very, very difficult trying to fit it all in a decent size, but uh, I hope you like it. KCON 2017, New York. Are you ready to be a part of tonight's KCON?
Everything that KCON had, from the actual K-pop artists, to the YouTubers, to the fans, to the food, to the posters, just to the whole feeling, solidified why I'm a K-pop fan in the first place, and why I love talking to everybody on social media just about K-pop and getting excited for it. It's more than just listening to music, it's a way for us to all meet new people, and just to talk about this crazy culture we're sucked into, that we all found about in different ways.